Hello, Scorpio. Welcome to your weekly love reading. This will be for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Keep in mind, energy can go vice versa, and this reading won't resonate with everyone, but take what fits and leave the rest out. Okay, we have victory with door to value. My goodness, you're about to see some miraculous changes here. Uh, the desires of your heart being achieved. So possibly things you've wanted to manifest into your life are about to be seen this week. I regret lying to you and we will be together again. Okay, so someone def definitely needed to speak their truth here. There's a lot of regret, but uh, someone's coming back around. Okay, overall energy, page of pentacles. This is about progress here as well as learning. Okay, moving forward. So let's see what's going on in your energy this week, Scorpio. The word of value. This is like uh, you having the Midas touch here this week. Things just happening out of the blue. We have two of pentacles, five of pentacles, and the knight of wands. Okay, so it's showing me lately you might have felt... Uh, you know, kind of on the outs with people or um, just working a lot or not having a lot of downtime. Uh, it looks like this week it gets a little bit better. I do see that you've been helping out people a lot. Could be financially here or just being there for people. And it seemed to, you know, really drain your energy because the more you did, the more people were counting on you. And uh, you really are being selfless here. So the universe is taking notice of this, okay? Wanting to give you retribution. We have Knight of Wands. Something sparks your desire this week. Something comes out of the blue and kind of makes you feel as if things are changing, okay? That there is a shift energetically to where you will be able to start seeing things happen that you've wanted to see happen for a while. Okay, so let's see what's going on in your person's energy. I do see when it comes to your person, you know, you were tired of giving and giving and not getting anything back. And uh, you just don't want to be in that energy anymore. You felt like it drained you a lot. We have Six of Cups, Emperor, and the Fool card. So this person feels like they have a new perspective, uh, finally gaining control over this connection or having an idea to do so. They almost feel like... Uh, they might have controlled you in the past or uh, controlled how things were going. And now they want to release that, not choke the energy, but be able to control them, take control of themselves to be able to do better for you. Uh, with the Fool card, this person's getting ready to take a risk here and revisit something from the past. Okay, this could be a past love offer, uh, but this person definitely feels like you are somebody that is there for them and no one else has ever been. Okay, they've always been able to count on you. And you have been the shining light for this person for a very long time. And they've just not acknowledged it here. They definitely took from you and didn't give a lot. You know, they had a lot of risky behavior here. Uh, tell me the fool. King of Cups and the Five of Wands. Yeah, they struggled to open up emotionally to you here. So it means that, you know, they could seem very cold and callous uh, as if they didn't care, okay, as they communicated. But there's something this week about them wanting to do something they haven't before, open up to you in a way that they feel like they need to express themselves. Okay, so let's see what's happened in the past. We have Queen of Cups, the Hermit, and the King of Wands. So they definitely left you feeling emotionally flat. It feels like uh, they more so hurt your feelings than made you feel good at times, okay? So if you look back at this connection, you can count on your finger how many times you actually felt good when you were in this connection with them versus, you know, how you were feeling on the negative spectrum and how bad you were feeling uh, emotionally. I do see that they had a lot of passion towards you. Okay, there could have been separation here for a long time. They definitely didn't open up and express to you uh, what they were truly feeling. That this passion they were feeling for you was not just uh, chemistry. It wasn't just intimacy. Uh, they were coming off that way, very headstrong. 
uh, but they, there's actually feeling and emotion behind it. So I, I'm already picking up a lot of you might have felt used in this connection, that it was just about uh, passion or intimacy. Tell with the Queen of Cups. They knew they didn't have to here, Seven of Cups, yeah, because they felt you were truly devoted to them and that there was no way you were going to leave them, okay? So they did kind of get into their ego here, felt overly confident that there was no way you were going to leave this connection because they didn't feel like, okay, now I don't have to express how I feel. Uh, yes, this is a very uh, intimate connection or very passionate here, uh, intense energy, but why should I have to? They're never going to go anywhere. Okay, tell me the Seven of Cups. Ace of Cups. This left you very confused, okay? You kind of felt like maybe this person was up to no good or into someone else. Or I'm seeing for a small group, this person definitely likes to go have fun, possibly drink a lot. Uh, but that's just for a select few. And that became more of a priority than you. So let's see what the challenge was here. We have the Five of Cups, Nine of Pentacles, and the Ten of Cups. I So this made you really hurt. This really hit you to the core. It took such an emotional strain on you. It tells me they took a lot. This person took a lot of your time your uh, sympathy here, your empathy, you were there for them at any whim, and they gave nothing back. It made you feel so depressed at times, as well as devastated. You felt like, you know, why did I get myself involved in this situation? Okay, I'm also seeing for others of you, this person feared opening up because they have a problem with really uh, kind of acknowledging their own feelings, okay? So with the Five of Cups, they, they always look at possibly life with the glass half empty and they don't want to uh, let people in. They don't want to let people know that they're actually dealing with a lot of emotions as well as feeling down in life, right? This person could be on the sensitive spectrum where they feel so intensely in their emotions. They have to really run away, detach so they can address it and then come back. They don't like to open up to people, okay? The Ten of Cups here, uh, for others of you, they could have been in a third party situation with you, but they could have been committed to a relationship or an actual marriage, okay? They might have been in charge of a family as well, and they kind of put that as a priority here. Uh, with the Nine of Pentacles, with the Ten of Cups, this is saying that success was never going to happen because this person was giving into too many things. Okay, so whether it was a third party or their actual mindset of not wanting to um, let go of their emotions and actually let someone in, uh, it was never going to uh, succeed. It was always going to just be stagnant or just end, okay? Tell with the Ten of Cups. Page of Swords, yeah. And a lot of you were trying to figure out, possibly asking them questions, you know, but you were getting sarcasm back, possibly them pushing your buttons at times, and they just seemed a bit cold, right? You can look at this Page of Swords and just know in their energy, like they were kind of, you know, just, so what? I don't care, you know, I care about my feelings. It doesn't matter. Uh, so, it became really difficult to deal with this person. Tell with the Five of Cups. Wheel of Fortune. When were things ever going to turn around? So it's like there was this hidden uh, chemistry or this undeniable bond that you guys had where you felt like no matter if this person was really speaking up and telling you how they feel, there, you felt in some way when they were passionate or intimate with you, uh, their energy was intense. Like you could tell there was something else to it. It was not just passion or uh, lust. You can tell that they were feeling some type of way, uh, very deeply connected, but you just couldn't get them to be on board to actually be honest and open up to you about it. Okay. And for those of you that you got this person to open up at the beginning, it seemed like right after that point, it just went all downhill. This person never opened up again and uh, they would treat you more of a nuisance than anything. 
and yet they would still come to you for help. They would still want you to be there for them, you know, when they needed you. Okay, so let's see what action they take this week. We have seven of wands, four of wands, and a ten of swords. So we have an ending and a new beginning here. Okay, so the way and things were in the past, the old patterns, that is done. And what I see here is someone protecting uh, what they feel is theirs. Okay, so they're about to do something such as a surprise. With the four of wands, we always get a surprise. So this is an action where um, it's completely unexpected and it might make you feel like, Okay, why are you doing this now? Okay, so if this reading's resonating with you and the extended, we're going to go over exactly what action this is, what they're going to say to you moving forward, as well as the timing and the outcome. But if not, if this is your last stop, thank you so much for joining me. I love you guys dearly, and I'll see you next time.